Hello, beautiful people. My name is Athel and this is Relationship Momentum. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a follow on from yesterday's video, because yesterday I talked about why you shouldn't have relationship talks when the relationship is in a bad place, that you shouldn't complain about your how, how you feel about things. You shouldn't be announcing your plans to make them better. You should basically just buckle down, shut up, make the changes, hit the gym, be more attractive, dress better, be more flirty, fun, engaging, create some leadership moments, and just have your partner respond to you on the basis of that, rather than having some sort of conversation that announces it. And for a lot of guys I've coached, that policy has worked really, really well, and it gets them to a sort of a midway point to where they want to be in the relationship. It's got it from a bad place to an okay place. So they're in a sort of a red zone and it definitely gets them into a yellow zone. But the green seems a little bit out of reach. So what I'm going to tell you now is that once you're in that place where it's kind of yellow and you're trying to fine tune a few things, it all goes a whole lot better if you actually talk about what it is that you want, what your expectations are, and what you want your, your partner to do and how you want them to respond. And the reason you need to start doing this is that you finally have some form of leverage in the relationship. You finally have some sort of attractiveness that they recognize. They, they see you as a person of value. So when the relationship was bad, they didn't care. They weren't interested. You had no leverage. You had nothing to negotiate with. So you trying to negotiate through talk just failed. But now the relationship is a little more even. There's a bit more of a balance of power. They want you. They like you. They see you as someone who is value. Well, now you have something to negotiate with. And once you get to this place, when the relationship is at like 50% happiness or whatever, if you don't start trying to negotiate at least once in a while, you can slowly undercut the, their perception of you because having value means that you have a, you can negotiate. And if they see you never really talking, never really negotiating the relationship, never really saying what it is that you want or being direct with them, they start perceiving you as someone that has lower value because you are acting lower value. A high value partner is going to say what they want and is going to have an attitude of some expectation that they will get what they want. A lower value partner is not going to say what they want and are just going to accept whatever is given to them. And that's about as far as it goes. So after a certain point, you not talking, you not communicating, you not saying what it is you want and coming to some sort of negotiation in the relationship once in a while is actually a display of weakness. The whole thing of, you know, just shut up do the actions, work on it, be more attractive. That gets you out of like a, a red area in your relationship and gets you into the yellow. What's going to get you from yellow into green is you actually talking about what you want, saying what you want, negotiating for what you want. And after a certain point, you just got to do it. So once you've made some headway and you've seen things improve and they've stabilized and there's still more to go, Maybe it's time to start talking again. So anyway, that's about it. I hope you liked the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good internet stuff. And I will talk to you tomorrow.